this time of year at the tail end of the season, you get to worry about how thick that ice is. You know, there's nothing like spending the day on the lake, making the big catch, right? And I mean, like literally on the lake. A frozen lake can provide year-round, uh, or wintertime anyway, opportunities for the good times. But if you don't pay attention to how thick this ice is, it really can be a recipe for disaster. Right now I'm standing on about 20 inches of ice. That's thick enough to support 20,000 pounds. That's 10 tons. Think ice road trucking. You know, it's enough to support the semi-truck, but any less than that, well now it becomes too dangerous. And the semi might break through the ice. You can also think about this weight as a couple of you know, full-size pickup trucks. Anything less than 20 inches would be a concern for them, too. All right, so as long as we have at least 9 inches, then it's all right to drive your family car, your sedan, out onto the ice. Any thinner than that, and it starts to get dangerous. You think about multiple cars, though. Multiple weight, you're going to need additional ice. And if you do bring multiple cars out onto the ice, park them at least 50 feet apart, and you want to move them every two hours as well. Snowmobilers, it's lighter, right? About a thousand pounds. You still can enjoy the ice if you have at least five inches. However, anything less than that, then we start to run into trouble. And remember that not all ice is created equal. If you have white ice or snow ice, that's about as half as strong as the clear ice. All right, so let's bring in our ice dummy. Now, right near the shore and then farther in towards the middle of the lake, that's where the ice is thinnest. You have that sweet spot for the thickest of the ice. And if you don't have at least two inches of ice, that's, you need that to support the weight of a man, just one man or woman. If you have more than that, of course, you need a thicker ice. So play it safe here. Once you fall through the ice, you're in a very dangerous situation. With a water temperature of 33 degrees, it only takes 15 to 45 minutes for hypothermia to set in. So take caution. When going out on the ice, make sure you know the limits. You can measure ice thickness using a cordless drill or an ice auger and a tape measure. Also check with local bait shops. And when it comes to ice, this is the advice. Thick and blue, tried and true, thin and crispy, way too risky, and when in doubt, don't go out. I better get out of here before the ice gets any thinner. Hey, Jen, did you catch anything? No, nah, oh. not yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to spend a little more time out here, guys. Jenny, Let's see you in a couple catch blocks. Something. I'm about to post it on social media, actually. You did catch something. Uh, I did. I caught a, I caught a Steffi fish. <laughs> a Steffi. I'm about to post it. It's so ridiculous. Right. It's we'll, the dumbest we'll, picture on the we'll, planet, we'll but the, I'm going to post it. We'll await it. the post, Stupid. ladies and gentlemen.